men at 19. I remember laughing my head off when I read that in a magazine. Well, now I'm staring 40 right in the face. Mm. And the only trouble with being a woman my age is the men my age. <laughs> <laughs> the Wall Street Journal once called my next guest the most sought-after voiceover actress in the country. But she might be more famous for her lips. Hot Lips Houlihan, that is, from the 1970 Robert Altman film M.A.S.H. It was a role that won her an Academy Award nomination and made her a star. Over the years, she's appeared in hit films such as Back to School with Rodney Dangerfield, That's Life with Julie Andrews and Jack Lemmon, and Ready to Wear with Sophia Loren and Julia Roberts. Now this multi-talented actress is singing her heart out at Feinstein's at the Regency Hotel here in New York in her one-woman show called Sally Kellerman, More Than You Know. It's my pleasure to welcome Sally Kellerman. Hi. Oh, thank you. Hi. More Than You Know. Yes. Well, more. What more should we know? Well, you know, as I say, uh, you know, tonight's show is a celebration of women using me as the perfect example of all women. And, uh, you know, I'm not the type to brag or to talk about myself, but anything you want to know about me, you know, I, I don't know, some humorous uh, remark. I mean, you know, about you're going to get to know everything you ever wanted to know about me and more. <laughs> and <laughs> then some. Do. And then some, yeah. Now, you've had a wide range of reviews. Glowing, 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 and one nasty oh, little review. Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up, you know, because I, I am just, <clears throat> just this morning, uh, I thought I want to come on and talk about that because I just, uh, yesterday or the day before, Rex Reed gave me this just absolutely glowing, you know, like thrilling review of that I was the living end in every way, and, uh, and I've gotten some nice reviews, you know, and a, a mixed, and then today in the Times was the most scathing, mean uh, review, uh, and you know, and I thought, should I bring that up? But I just felt like it because you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't make you feel good, and it just seemed uh, it was so mean. It was so much about, oh, how well preserved I am. And there seems to be a big fix. This is about the how, theme, right? This how is the well theme preserved. Of, no, this is the theme, and you know, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, you I are wish I looked, well preserved. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I looked. At this morning, I looked like you know, Dracula's bride to myself, but. I hope that I'm well preserved because I like to be cute, but uh, that seemed to be, you know. Why does it always focus on that with women? I don't know. And it they always, uh, what you look like is always the first order. All of the reviews, you know, talked about that I was elderly, but boy, was I preserved. And uh, when they talked about my age, you know, and then they'd say, but she really looks good. And I mean, even the good ones mentioned that, you know. And well, I'm delighted, you know, but with the, today in the Times, they said, you know, that. That was pathetic, and I wasn't sure he wanted me to come on in a gray wig and sit down with a cane, you know, and sit in a chair. <laughs> but I moved, and he, you know, and as I was telling you earlier, I always prided myself on, I was kind of, that I've always been real, you know, mm -hmm. that I wanted to be real, and that I wanted to be honest. And I guess one of the things people, when they come to see my show, they think I'm so brave, and I'm so honest, and this and that. And this guy said I was so show-offy, and my body language was so aggressive, and I was so... You know, I can't help it, Stephen. I'm just naturally, you know, uh, just so This is naturally you know, aggressive. And naturally, sexy. you know, I can't help it, you know. And the fact that my genetics, you know, uh, that, that I can still move. I always feel so grateful when I get up in the morning. You know? I know. Well, what about, I mean, you live in Hollywood. I do. Okay. I do. And, and I it love is... it. And I can't wait to get home after this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, sex symbols, women being beautiful, it is the capital of the world in terms of measuring women in terms of what they look like. Yeah. Is it hard to age in Hollywood? Well, you know, I mean, it's certainly the reality. Even though you haven't. <laughs> yeah, even though I am, uh, you know, propped up and uh, I am moving like a, you know, but... Uh, and are you allowed to be sexy? Uh, yes. Not according to the New York Times, not according to the New York Times. And, and again, that isn't something that, I, that I've ever gone around thinking about. And then I got, you know... Uh, oh, happily, at this point in my life, that people can even remember, you know, hot lips and everything. And I, and I've done a lot of comedic. I mean, I think that's where he missed the boat here. That, that you know, that I'm. That you're making fun of yourself. I'm a comedian, and I say, right. not the woman that I am. And he's going, oh, I was bragging about how great I was, and this and that and the other thing, you know. But uh, actually, it was all, you know, done with humor and. People laughed. That's so it's amazing. Opening night, people laughed at every single thing I said. They applauded and they cheered. And somewhere in me, I was going, uh oh. This doesn't, you know, you know, this doesn't mean it. And my, my agent even said, 
They'll, the reviewers will hate you and, and the audience will love you, but actually, as I said, the other reviewers have not hated me, yeah. and I got one raving, but I'll take that one. That's the one I'll believe. But right. Now, the whole show is really about being a woman. It is. Well, it is. From and start what to I, finish. What I wanted it to, to, to be was... I always felt like people would identify with me because I because I like people and because I care about people and because I always thought, you know, my mother always said you have to tell everything you know, dear, and that I was so flat-footed and so, you know, kind of real. That's been kind of my marker, how proud I was that you I You talked could... about in the show being fat. And I, I was heavy when I was young and everything. Yeah, so, and I'm heavy now, ladies and gentlemen. I work, I mean, I struggle <laughs> Yes, but you're seven morning. feet tall. <laughs> so, I mean, every night we have to have the announcement of what I've eaten all day and, you know, how my stomach is and everything, you know, I mean, and that's what's so funny about Stephen, you know. So, anyway, what, what did you ask me, you know, oh, yeah, about this the show is about women, yes. Mm -hmm. It's about, I thought people would be able to identify with my travails. Yeah. You know, when what I saw... What were your travails? What have they been? Well, you know, I was heavy when I was young and I was 105 feet tall and, you know, and not so gorgeous and... And, uh, you know, and when I was young, I was too fat, too, you know, I mean, too this, too young, too old, you know, as an actress. And, and luckily, there's always something to worry about, you know, whether you're too fat or you're too, you know, this or that. But, you, you get but older. you've done very well with it all. I have, and I've enjoyed my life, and I'm having such a great time. And the show is, is this such the best a thrill time of for me. Life? This is the best time of my life. I have 11-year-old twins. I have mm. a grown daughter. I have a husband who's just a lovely man, supportive of me. You know, beyond the, you know, and we have, but, but what's fun is that we've been separated a couple of times in our 22 years of marriage, and I, I talk humorously about that, you son of a <laughs> blankety blank. You we know. have 15 seconds left. 15 what's the seconds. greatest lesson of your life? Well, resilience is a, is a mm. wonderful thing, you know, not mm -hmm. to take any of this seriously. Including the review. Including keep smiling. the review and keep smiling All and right. come see the show this week. Sally Kellerman at the Regency Hotel at Feinstein's at the Regency Hotel yeah. here in New York City. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. That's all for tonight. But before we go, I'd love to hear from you. I want to know what you thought about tonight's show. So email me at regan at foxnews.com or write me at Judith Regan tonight, Fox News Channel, 1211 Avenue of the Americas, 17th floor, New York, New York. Thanks for being here and have a good night.